Here. Now, is it's a party. this the one you were talking about? Yep. Yeah, I could see Beckett doing something like that. Luckily for both of you, I'm perfectly real. There you go. Key to this joint. It didn't come cheap, but since you're here to take down the claw, it was worth every cap. Oh, shucks. Now you gonna make me cry. Let's not get all warm and fuzzy here, Slick. This is a debt being paid back. Nothing more. <laughs> yeah, you better. My ass is hanging out in the breeze on this one. Uh, we... we know, Ronnie. We know. Anyway, here's the plan. Ronnie's gonna head to the main garage entrance and get her gang revved up. And in the meantime, we're gonna cut our way through the Eagles and head to the garage control room and get the door open from the inside. Clear enough? Yeah, and uh, get this. They even got some of the Watoga Underground's robots up and running to throw in our path. I guess we've worn them down so much they're getting desperate. Not that they were level-headed to start with, but... There's a garage entrance on the other side of the complex, and it can only be opened from the inside. That's where we let Ronnie and her gang roll in. And we need to get to the control room and hit the switch that will open the bay door. That's simple enough, if we get there in one piece. One more thing. The Claw is the only one who knows where they're keeping Frankie. 
So don't go all gun happy on me until I give the go ahead. I already told my gang. Any of them shoots the claw, they gotta answer to me. All right. Good luck. I'll see you both on the other side.
on my neck are rising.
Identified intruders detected.
still alive. Frankie? Is that you? That's right, Beckett. It's me, your baby brother. Surprise, surprise! No. No way. This doesn't make any sense. You're the claw? How is that possible? Oh, Beckett. Always two steps behind. Racing to catch up. Think, brother, think! 
The claw lives within all of us, waiting for the moment it awakens and tears its way through our flesh, only to burst forth anew. We're all the claw. Frankie, listen to me. You gotta fight this. It's the chems. They, 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 they did something to you. Changed you. This isn't you, man. You can beat this thing. Oh. <laughs> the fight ended long before it began, sweet brother. It died when you left me in foundation. Left me so you could seek the claw yourself. The draw was too much for you, wasn't it? The allure of power. Making you forget the past. Making you forget everything you love. Look, man. I'm sorry, okay? I was wrong. I, I, I shouldn't have stuffed you away like that. We... We should have stuck together. It's... Look, it is all my fault. Come on, Frankie. Snap out of it. Okay, you are my brother, and I need you to come home. Frankie, no. No, 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 no. Frankie's dead. You killed him, Beckett. By abandoning him, you pulled the trigger. But I know why you're really here. To slay the Claw and yourself become the Claw anew. Finish the job, Beckett. Do what you must. I don't know what to do. I, I never expected anything like this. Please, I need your help. I don't know if Frankie's in there or not anymore. Maybe he's too far gone to save and, and I should just pull the trigger. Please, help me. No. This has to end here. Today. Okay, the Claw must, must, must be just a name the Blood Eagles have used for different people over the years. I'm not sure how Frankie took the Claw's place before we got here, but I'm sure it has something to do with the Chems. I don't know. I'm one of three Blood Eagles to ever escape their brainwashing and kick the chem habit. And it was painful. I mean, it almost killed me. I don't know if Frankie can survive that. God, you're right. I let him get inside my head. I need to focus. Let me talk to him. Hey, Frankie. I want you to look at me. Look? Yes. Look. Look beyond this shell made of skin and bone. Look deep and witness the soul of the claw. Focus on my voice, Frankie. It's just me and you against the world, buddy. Just like old times. Come on, man. 
Focus. I know you've been hurt, Frankie. And I know I wasn't there for you, especially when you needed me the most. And I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. It's not that easy, Beckett. The claw demands a high price for failure. The price is suffering. Listen to me, Frankie. Do you remember when we were kids? You know, we were playing near that bombed out factory in Maryland. And those, those rabid dogs just jumped out of nowhere and just, just surprised us. And we ran and we ran. But then I fell into that ditch and twisted my leg like a dumbass, right? Hmm? I told you to run. But what did you say to me, man? Hmm? Try and remember. No, Beckett. I... Those moments died when Frankie died. Only a fool dwells in the past. The Blood Eagles are our future. No, no, no. No, there's no claw. And there's no Blood Eagles. There's just me and you right now. All right, so shut up and listen. After the dogs were gone and you reached into the ditch to help me out, what did you say? Tell me, goddammit, Frankie, tell me! No, I... 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 I said... I... We were brothers and we'd never walk away from... From each other. No matter how bad... No matter... No matter how bad things became, yeah, that's exactly right. You fought off those dogs with nothing but a goddamn broken baseball bat, and it almost killed you, man. But you... you saved me. You were so caught up from the fight, I... I thought I was gonna lose you, Frankie. Uh, I remember... you stole those meds from me to fight off the rabies. You... You kept watch over me for weeks. I... Uh, why can't I see it clearly? The, the hell happened to me, Beckett? God, this hurts. Uh, it hurts so much. Oh, God, I know it hurts, man. I know it does. But whatever it takes, we'll get through this together. All right, we are family, and I love you, Frankie. I always have. I always will. I love you too, Beckett. And... And I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. I can't believe I was... Able to talk him through that. Oh, I'm proud of me for not murdering my brother. Hmm? <laughs> I suppose that's high, high praise for a former raider. You know, if anything, I should be disappointed with myself. You know, this is all my fault to begin with. I started him down this path by not being there for him. And to make matters worse, I was such a chicken shit, I forced you to make this decision. Not my finest hour. And I have yours. Forever. I mean that. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna bring Frankie to a friend I know who can help him fully recover from his addiction. Head back to your camp, all right? And I'll meet you there soon. And before you say anything, yes, I promise to show up. Okay? Don't worry. Have a safe trip back. Beckett. He almost killed me. And you... Uh, you talked him out of it. Thank you.
save me. You know that? Hey, there you are. I had some news for you about Frankie. Talked to Ronnie, and she said she's gonna handle everything. Like, uh, you know, making sure all that buff-out crap is out of his system. Poor kid. Uh, it's gonna be a slow road to recovery. Yeah, it's cool. Ronnie said she'll kick his butt out of her camp the moment Frankie clears his head. But helping her out has really paid off. Thanks again for convincing her to back our plays. Well, good thing is, she hadn't been kidnapped by the Blood Eagles like I'd suspected. She had actually gone into hiding. I sent her word that Frankie's okay. I can't exactly let her visit Ronnie's camp. It isn't safe for someone not in the gang. Once he's back on his feet, I'm sure he'll return to visit her at Foundation. Yeah, yeah. And I had it all wrong at the beginning. See, it turns out, Frankie had been gone longer from Foundation than I was led to believe. And he actually joined the Eagles voluntarily. Now, of course, he did it to follow in my footsteps, so... Yeah, I guess that one's on me. But as he started taking the buff out overdoses and buying into the Eagle's bullshit, it blew his mind, and he started climbing the ranks. After the previous claw got wiped out and it was clear Frankie was one of the craziest in the gang at the time, well, he filled the spot. Yeah, unfortunately, it won't be. Uh, there's still plenty of those maniacs around. And the important thing is that we took out their leadership. And since that was what I set out to do, I'm officially out of a job. Yeah, I'm sure a few of those maniacs are still out there, and they'll be looking for a fight. But as long as they remain leaderless, we'll be fine. Well, now that Edwin's retired, Ronnie is the full-time leader of the gang, so... Now she said she'll swing by your camp every once in a while, say hello. As long as the bar is open, of course. That's right. After all the crap I've been through, there's no way I'm going back to that life. Now... Don't get me wrong, I'll still be more than happy to accept the caps that come with brokering any jobs for you, if you're interested. Oh, a little of this, a little of that, nothing you haven't done before. Don't worry, might want to stock up on ammo and supplies before you take them on, though. Just in case. Great, I'll see what my contacts come up with. Hey, um, before you take off, I, uh, I just have one last thing to say. You know, since I've been in Appalachia, I've uh, run into all sorts of people. And, uh, you know, most of them wouldn't bother to help you if you were <laughs> dying at their feet. But you, and what you've done for me and my family, listen, I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you. I'm a... well... You know, I'm, I'm not really sure how to respond to that. Look, you see, uh... I, I, I've never had anyone that wanted to get this close to me. You know, it... it feels strange and... it, uh... <laughs> it scares the hell out of me. Man, I, 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 I couldn't even keep my family intact. How was a relationship with you ever gonna work? I mean... <laughs> You know, what, what, what if I mess things up? I know, I know, I, I sound crazy, but for once, you know, it's not the cams talking. Does, does this change your mind about things? Like about us? Sure, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, I suppose there's no need to rush into anything right now. So, I, uh, guess you have a lot of stuff to do, and well, I, I need to start looking for some jobs to run, but 
you know, if you ever need a drink or just want to talk, uh, bar is always open. Friend. Thank <laughs> you.